I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a new quad here sitting on the bench today. It's BBB. It's a new brand coming out of China uh, on the GearBest site. I don't know if it's made by the guys at Furry Bee or not, but it is a pretty high quality looking kit. And it comes with everything in this box over here. Born to be the best uh, that it says on top of the box, BBB, kind of a cool logo. But what's cool about this quad mostly is that it's a pretty high quality looking frame. It has really nice anodized aluminum uh, printed logo on here. And it says born to be the best on the front. And there's a pretty nice carbon frame on here. It looks like three mil. It's pretty thick looking uh, 3K carbon fiber. And there's little motor bumpers on the outside here. They've also got their kind of purple theme going on the motors out here uh, on the top and bottom for the hardware. You have clockwise and counterclockwise uh, threaded bolts on the top and purple out here and black here. But the coolest thing about it, I think, is the fact that they include a run cam mini with it. This is probably one of my favorite cameras right now for FPV. So uh, I also had enough room back here to be able to add a full size D4R2 FR Sky receiver. And that's that's pretty big receiver for something like a 128 millimeter frame like this is. But I didn't have any small XM Plus receivers at the moment so I just went ahead and put that one on there uh, and, and I ran it PPM so you can run this PPM or S bus now it doesn't include the VTX and flight controller and ESC combo so I, I think you guys should use the HDLRC uh, XJR or XBR one of the two uh, and it has 25 amp ESC stack on the bottom here so that's pretty nice because you can run this 3 or 4S on 3S this is really great for beginners it's really mild and uh, predictable, but it doesn't have a lot of punch out. So if you're flying straight and you're not doing a lot of big air maneuvers and flips and uh, spins and stuff, 3S will be t just perfect to start out with. Now, when you move up to 4S, this thing really rocks on 4S. It's through the roof. I tried to record some uh, punch out video for you guys so you could see that. And uh, I'll show you that coming up in the flight test. But the nice thing about that flight controller is the fact that it does have OSD telemetry on there. So you have everything uh, all right here on this quad. And uh, the only thing that this quad is lacking is a beeper. I need to add one on there. But this is kind of a lot larger and easier to find out in the field unless you have tall grass. Now, another cool detail is that they do have the side rail. I'll try to bring it in a little closer so you can see that this side rail actually has clips on it. They go out like this and it holds this carbon side plate down. There's four screws on the bottom that go through it up inside those rails and you can see the logos there in the purple color and then you have that carbon plate that comes out here and holds the mini in place so pretty easy i just took one of the screws that came along with the mini and put it right straight through here and you can get a pretty good angle on this i could probably actually get more angle if i wanted to uh, but i ran my receiver cables up to the front here because they have these three little slots and you can just kind of bring them up here with some heat shrink and a zip tie now another cool feature is back here, this XT30 is actually flush mounted to the frame and I put a little zip tie around that through the bottom because they do have four holes down here. You can secure it with two zip ties and a piece of VHB underneath it. Make sure that when you have your wires coming out here that you have a BHB and your heat shrink far enough up to the XT30 so that you don't short anything out because you could plug something in and short out the whole frame by uh, making a metal to carbon contact. And I'm testing out this Emax Pagoda on here for you guys. And I also tested uh, on the 4S run, I tested out these new Pagodas and these are right hand circular polarized. It's the, almost the exact same look as the uh, Emax Pagoda 2s. This one even says Pagoda 2 on it. I'll try to put a link down below. These kind of look like Amways with this blue stem right here. Very similar to Amway. So maybe this is an Amway product, uh, but I'll, I'll try to find those. These are a little bit longer. Probably want to get the shorter version of this uh, for this particular 128 millimeter frame. But like I said, it flies great on 3S and on 4S, it totally rips. Uh, but really nice 
feature about this this uh, kit is the fact that it does come in this really nice box everything is layered in here really nicely and i thought this was a 200 size frame when i opened up the gear best box and i saw the stickers at first and i was like okay this is cool very nice everybody likes stickers and they have this it's almost like opening up an apple product and then you have everything in here all laid out for you so you can see what everything is and everything is laid flat nicely embedded in the foam and then down here underneath the bottom layer was where you had your packs of accessories in this spot you had four motors right here your run cam mini and the props that came with it now the props that came with it I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you be honest about these these are not the greatest props they're flimsy and you're gonna break these pretty easily you can kind of see they bend super easy so I had some dowel props laying around and these are a lot tougher and they're gonna give me a lot better punch out uh, on this particular power setup they also give you a pretty cool little rubber coated strap so you can go and uh, run your 4S battery, it'll hold it on there nice. And you also get a carbon top plate, which I didn't use, mainly because I'm using this larger style uh, receiver. Now, if you had a smaller receiver, something like the one that's on the Baby Hawk, you could put that one right above this flight controller. They actually give you a little carbon plate that goes right above here. So it makes a nice little stack. You can add uh, a smaller VTX in there as well too. They do make them smaller than this one. Now the motors that come along with this, this, these say BBB on the outside of them and they're not 1806s, they're actually 1606s. They're 3500 kV, plenty of power and, and torque on the low end for these. They're also labeled uh, in the direction on the very top. You see little arrows going around letting you know which way they spin so you don't mess up putting a prop on these guys. Okay, so let's talk about some different battery choices. Uh, some of the batteries that I would recommend for this setup, uh, if you're looking to build this, and by the way, this would probably be a good second build for you. If you've already done a first build and you wanna try something smaller, um, I wouldn't really recommend this as a first build. There was a few things that I had to kind of reposition and uh, it wasn't totally straightforward. So just gonna let you guys know that. Uh, for a 3S battery recommendation, I, I would recommend these Nanotech 3S 450s. Um, pretty nice, they're 25 to 40 C and uh, they're gonna be perfect for some kind of mild flying and it's a, a good price on this battery and I'll, I'll try to put some links down below for batteries for you guys now the next choice would be the 600 milliamp 3s furry b battery and you can solder on an nxt 30 onto this and make it compatible with this quad now my number one choice for this quad would be the tattoo 450 milliamp 4s battery this one just absolutely rocks and uh, i've got two or three of these batteries and this is definitely going to be my go-to battery uh, for this particular quad so look these up these are really nice they're also 75 C so a really nice high discharge rate on this battery okay so let's go out and do some flying with this new quad 128 millimeter by born to be the best BBB enjoy the flight test guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one